90% of the time, if a channel partner says this is what you should buy, and uh, and the the, the the buy goes through, it'll be a hundred percent of what the channel partner said, with the exception of a phone device or a notebook device or an iPad, so something that they carry with them all the time, because then all of a sudden it's it's in their hand and they have preferences. But anything else that you sell them, it's a hundred percent, like ninety percent of the time, they'll do a hundred percent of what you, what the channel partner tells them to do. And the reason being is they want one cho one neck to choke, if you excuse the expression. But you know, um, and for anybody who doesn't really understand that, it means. You don't want to have to go to this person and to this person and this person to try to figure out where the problem is. They want to be able to say, okay, you told me to buy this. I bought it. It's not working. Fix it. You know? And usually now, especially with managed services, they can fix it two, three, four months ahead of time before they even know there's a problem. So the market's changing, but the reality of it is, is that as it's changing, and it's changing a lot, always, um, what's not changing is that they're always going to need somebody for the service and the support. If there's any installation, they're always going to need that. Tell me all you want about play and plug. I, I tell everybody, oh, I don't have it on me, but I have an, I'm, I, I hate to say it, but I, I, it's an apple. and. I have problems every morning remembering how to turn it on. And then people tell me, but you never turned it off. And I go, oh yeah, that's probably why. Like, I mean, technology and business people, you're either, not for everybody, but in most cases, if you're really good at technology, you're terrible at business. And if you're really good at business, you're terrible at technology. And I'm not sure why that is, most of the time. Okay, in Israel, you're all great at everything. Um, but I'm a Canadian. I, I, know, I know more about where my boundaries are. Um, okay, so that being said, it's just really, really simple. We're going to do a, um, as I said before, we'll do, um, what's it called, a, um, a webinar. Thank you. I do them all the time. I should know. We're, we're going to do a webinar. We'll go through that. Um, any of you who want to talk one-on-one, -on -one, you can give me a call. Um, I think just about everybody's got my business card now, but if you don't, um, I still have a whole bunch of them somewhere. Oh, right there. Um, and give me a call and we'll set up a call, a call time. But um, <clears throat> right now, if anybody has some real short questions, because I don't want to keep people here for a whole long time. Um, anybody have any questions? Sure. Um, you said regarding the, uh, the marketing uh, material portal that you don't want the channel people to do work for you. What did you mean by that? Oh, uh, no, okay. So a, a portal is basically, when, they, when we talk about portals, we talk about a, a place where a channel partner can come in and pick up their own material and play with it, do whatever they want with it, and then send it out to their customers. That's, that's the type of portal I was talking about. Um, we know that be, uh, right now, if you look, I can give you exact numbers, or pretty close to exact numbers. Just less than 2%, like if, and this works for the big companies and the little companies, almost exactly the same. Um, you'll get 2% of all of your channel partners will ever send anything out on your behalf. Of those, two percent they will normally only send it out to about ten percent of their audience which means that the audience that the vendor thinks that they're getting if they think because they think they're going to be getting everybody in the end user is really one-fifth of one percent of what they expect to get so why do the vendors keep doing it because the marketing departments have spent millions and millions of dollars on it and they don't want to admit that it's a failure, so they just keep sending it out more and more and more and more. Um, but the channel partners, and so then 
the cha so then people like my company and a whole bunch of others started saying, okay, well, we can build you a portal that'll make it so much easier. And it did. The results didn't go up, didn't move at all. Not at all. So it was 2% before, or just under 2%. It's still at just under 2%. Um, so what, what we've actually done is we've created a program that sends it out from the channel partner through us and it'll give you up to about 75% of that full thing as opposed to one-fifth of 1%. One Still not perfect, nowhere near as good as if it came. It comes out from the channel partner, so it's good that way, and all the leads come back to the channel partner. But it's still not as good as having a real salesperson selling for them.